girl. Look at you, just out here looking like somebody's auntie. <laughs> auntie, meet me. Auntie, meet me. What? Hola. Bienvenido a mi canal. Nombre es Unique. Hey y'all, it's your girl Unique here, and I just came back from Cuba. <laughs> All right now, so in today's video, I'm gonna let you know what I brought with me to Cuba to make sure my hair didn't fall off my head. Of course, for this video, I had to leave the hair out, blow dry, wash. <laughs> if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so if any of you have gone away to a tropical island or live on a nice tropical island, swam in the ocean, in the salt water, in the beautiful blue turquoise salt water, if you're a melanated girl, you know it will trash your hair. Absolutely trash your hair hair <laughs> like all you want to do is swim in this water but it will trash your hair oh my gosh so this time I thought I would go and I would be prepared but at the same time you don't want to put too much hair products in your suitcase I only wanted to bring one suitcase I didn't want to bring five so I tried to limit what I would need on the trip and I was hoping it would be enough as I was there. And either way, I would have to make it work because we actually went to a small island called Santa Clara and there's nothing there. There's nothing on that island that could help me, not at all. So you have to do what I do with what you have. And no one in that hotel could help me because there weren't many of me. So <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I brought and what I should have have brought instead and let me just tell you as soon as I got back home I had to give myself a good wash a good deep condition we're still in good shape I survived I survived <laughs> All right, so first product. You are going to need a good shampoo. And I brought the ORS Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. And the reason I brought this is because it is a very moisturizing shampoo and they actually include it in the relaxer kit as a neutralizer. So I'm like, if I could use this to neutralize my relaxer, why couldn't I use it to clean my scalp and clean the debris off my hair from the salt water? And one thing is when you come come out of the ocean or whatever you're you're usually doing like a beach day so you're there for hours you're probably in and out of the water or you go in and you come out and you're on shore for hours like your hair is going to dry so it's going to get so brittle and crispy well okay you know what my hair my hair gets so brittle and crispy anytime I go in and out of salt water so we're gonna you know adjust the video I'm talking about myself if you can relate maybe these tips will help <laughs> so yes i use the olive oil creamy aloe shampoo and it worked great it worked wonderfully while i was in the shower you could feel it getting my hair back bringing the life back to my hair bringing the moisture back to my hair while washing all the salt and all the residue off of my hair next i decided i was going to bring this conditioner because on a regular day this softens my hair so much it works so wonderfully but and it says it helps restore dry and damaged hair so i think the olive oil replenishing conditioner for me was supposed to be a good idea I feel like on the first day that I went swimming because I was there for seven days and we probably went in the water every day <laughs> every day <laughs> So on the first day, this felt like it was working fine. And then on the second day when I shampooed, and I shampooed every single time because you can't just co-wash. Co-washing wasn't going down this time for me. I've done it before, but this time, no. Using this conditioner, it wasn't giving me as much moisture as I wanted. And I think it's because there's protein in this. And maybe I never noticed that before, but actually feeling that there wasn't as much slip and as much moisture, this has some protein. This conditioner has some protein in it. What I should have brought instead was the underrated Garnier Whole Blends coconut oil and cocoa butter conditioner. This conditioner, when I went to the Bahamas, I actually have a whole video about it. I will link it below. Saved my life in Bahama. This is so moisturizing and there's no, no parabens in here. This is such a moisturizing conditioner and it is so underrated and affordable. Keywords, affordable. So 
I feel no ways just putting piles and piles of this conditioner in my hand and moisturizing my hair, <laughs> all right? So I should have brought this one instead of the olive oil conditioner, but the shampoo, good. Next thing I brought that worked well was the Myel pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner worked very well. I just got out the shower while my hair was damp, applied the leave-in conditioner, wonderful. I also brought the curl smoothie. I didn't need very much of it. I mainly used the leave-in conditioner because I did wear my hair, my natural hair, in a ponytail most of the trip. I think every day except for one day. I also brought the tried and trued S curl <laughs> curl activator moisturizer because it's very much moisturizing like you can just hydrate your hair with this just keep on spraying and this formula is paraben free and mineral oil free so you don't have to worry about it drying out your hair it was very moisturizing I could get my hair back into a ponytail and a comb out my ends and all that stuff by using this so that was wonderful and then if I was going out for dinner or on a walk because the weather is so hot I also brought the Myel rosemary mint daily styling cream and the reason I brought this is because in my review of this product and their whole rosemary line I'll link that video below this is like a curl pudding this is like a gel but not a gel like it holds whatever style you put your hair in but it's not a gel that's hard and flaky but it will hold it and then while I was there I used it on my edges I did it for to have a sleek nice ponytail and it worked out very well so that was a good product if you're gonna wear your hair in like a sleek ponytail or something like that I also brought one comb I didn't end up bringing a brush <laughs> I brought this uh, big tooth comb so that I could comb my hair out in the shower or when I got out of the shower and came in handy. I didn't bring a brush. I also brought what I was using to, to hold my ponytail are the Ouch Free Elastics and they worked well. And then I just used a little banana clip for swim days. Let me also tell you, I did not swim with my hair completely out like it is right now. I had it in a ponytail. You have to make sure if you want to avoid the most breakage or issues or tangles leave your hair in the ponytail when you're swimming because if you leave your hair out it's gonna be a nest it's gonna be a nest ladies for us it's gonna be a nest so leave it in a ponytail and if you want because I did do it one day wash my hair in the ponytail it was just so much easier so I washed the top part and then I washed the end of my hair but it was all in the scrunchie because I just that night we had to go to dinner like the hotel had booked us dinner reservations already so you have to be on time for your appointment and I just had to wash my hair in the scrunchie and then comb out the end and get ready for dinner and go about my business but you gotta do what you gotta do if you have any tips and tricks as a melanated girl with curly or kinky hair whatever it may be what should I do next time I travel what should I use because I've gotten a trouble for not wanting to swim <laughs> not wanting to participate because uh I just don't want to deal with my hair but you have to be involved in the trip right so it is what it is I gotta figure out a solution on how to keep my hair together when on vacation in hot countries trying to go on the beach and whatnot on how you were able to manage swimming in the ocean in the seawater and keeping your hair together and on your head put them in the comments below going in that ocean that seawater will tear up your hair <laughs> so we need to share the information once again thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate it don't forget to comment below like this video and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye